Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm inside of No Man's Sky. For some reason, my my camera's moved, hasn't it? Let me let me just move me back over here a tad. There we go. Now I'm out of shot. That's a bit strange, isn't it? Anyway, what am I doing today inside of No Man's Sky? I'm going to be showing you what I've chosen to grow inside of my pirate dreadnought. Yes, this is my PC save. I'm going to move my phone up there just in case it goes off and vibrates the desk. You don't want to hear that. But inside of here, I've been growing a load of cactus, I guess. So cactus flesh. And then I've also got some frost crystal. And over here, I've got the PS to the resistance. Nip, nip, buds. Let's start harvesting all this, shall we? Now, you can hit the blue switch in the middle here. Harvest all plants. Boom. And it does all of them in one hit. There you go. Pow, like that. Nice little tip for you. Oh, look at that. We've just got a badge for freaking farming. Heck, yes, we have. So I've got all of this over this side. And then over at the opposite side, I've got the same again. So if I just travel over here a little. Oh, and there's my, um, yep, go through into here. I've got some more of the same. It's just the same stuff all over again. Right. And I'm hoping to be able to grow maybe, well, make 16 or a baker's dozen worth of biscuits. But these are a very special kind of biscuit. So I watched a video by Hero for You, and uh, yeah, he shows that you can make this brand new biscuit inside of game, which is pretty darn cool. So let's head on over to the nutrient processor. Now there's a couple of stages to this. So firstly, we need to get the frost crystal, put that in. That's going to turn to grass grains, okay? Now, I've got a whole freaking stack here of 700. I'm not going to do the full 700 just for freaking time. I'm just going to do five of each thing. So there we go. Let's stop that once it gets to five. There we are. Now I'm just going to take the glass grains, put them over there. And I'm going to stick this inside of my storage inventory. Because you can put them inside of your actual refiner here. Yeah, so neutral processor, I should say. And here we go. That's now going to turn to refined flour. So there we go. Lovely. And we're just going to do the five refined flour. Okay. Lovely and jubbly. We're cooking on gas on this channel. I guess we are, people. Now, if this is the first time to my channel and you like what I do, hit that subscribe. Be good to see you here again in future. I'm just going to put it inside of the inventory again. Now, what I want to do is I want to get hold of the cactus flesh that we just picked as well. And put that in there. Now, you can actually change this to how many you want to do or whatever, but it's going to take me ages to get to what I want. So I'm just going to hit begin anyway. Boom. And I'm just going to wait till it gets to five done on this one as well. So this is cactus nectar that we're creating at the moment. So here we go. We've got three, four and five. I'm going to stop processing. I'm going to get the cactus nectar and put it on this side. Take that out and put it in the storage. And we're going to make processed sugar. So there we go. It's just five of those to make. So that's given us the flour and the sugar. We should be able to put the flour and the sugar together to make sugar flour or sugar dough. Sugar dough, I think it is. So there we go. So now we just get this. Stick that over there. You can access your ingredient storage. Oh. Well, that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> it should be showing me my actual storage from my inventory space right now, people. Which is a little bit weird. Yeah. Oh my, the ax, my ingredient storage has gone a little bit freaking foobard, people. Oh, that's not good. Maybe don't use your refiner storage because refiners, well, the actual nutrient process, has a, seems to be pointing to the exosuit inventory. It's not pointing to the right place. So all those ingredients I just made have just disappeared into nothingness. All right. Yeah. Do not do that, people. It seems to be we've found a new bug. Um, and I don't think there's any way for me to get that back now. Hold on one second. Let me just see if I put a nutrient processor out on the actual bridge here. If it will let me. No, it won't. Of course it won't. For fudge sake. Okay, well, I guess we have lost those ingredients. Dang it. All right. Well, it's lucky we only did five of each then, isn't it? Right, so I can get this. I'm not going to put it inside of there anymore. I'm going to put it inside of my freighter storage. Okay? All right, put it in your freighter storage, people. Right, well, I'm just going to have to do those two steps again. So, oh no, I've got to put the cactus in there. I'm going to have to wait ages for my cactus to regrow. Oh, for fudge's sake. So the grow times on these are freaking ages. Look. Oh, okay, 26 minutes on that. That's not too bad. 
But holy fudge, a nori. Now I have got a mod to actually in increase the grow times a bit, but even with that in, I'm still going to be standing around for freaking time to make my um, cactus again, people. All right, I'll reconvene in a bit. This seems to be very broken. Well, people, now I know there's that bug, what I've done is I've just hit restore and I've gone back to a previous save. So hopefully all those plants have grown back again and hopefully we can start all over again and afresh with this. But yes, it appears to be that the nutrient processor storage seems to be a little bit food barred. Yeah. Right, so here we go, back into game. And note to self, make sure you use your freighter inventory Oh, blast it! Oh, no, they are back. Cool. Awesome. There we go. Let's grab that then. Lovely, lovely stuff. Oh, the game's still sort of loading at the moment on the old PC. I'll grab that. Grab all this. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. I have all this too. Lovely. Leg it through here. And this time I'm going to use my freighter storage, not the nutrient processor. Oh seems odd that things like this break. You know, that was working before. I wouldn't have thought they would have needed to have changed anything or adjusted anything on the code for that. So it makes you wonder why it's broken. Anyway, it could be because I've got some mods installed, people. It could be that. OK, right, let's start this process again. So I want to put in a load of this. So if I just shrink that all the way down and I'll just do five of these. So we go. Bum, 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 bum. And five, so there's my cactus nectar. I'm going to get the cactus nectar, stick it over there, put that into my freighter storage, and then spin this up. We're going to get the processed sugar. Lovely, lovely sugar. Sugar. Ba -ba -ba -dum -ba -ba -dum. Oh, honey, honey. Do -do -do -do. Sweet. Okay. All right, so we've got that. I'm going to put that into my freighter now. Be careful what you put it into, aren't you? Right, okay, and we want our frost crystal. So I'll just remove that all the way down, stick that in there. Make some glass granules, or glass grains, as I should say. That's what it's called. It's weird that you can make sugar, well, actually flour, from glass grains. That doesn't sound like the healthiest meal, does it, to be honest? But there we go, let's take that out of there. Put that in my freighter, and spin up the refined flour. Lovely jubbly. That's on the bake. Bake! Cool. Done. So we've got that done. Why? Why did that stop? Do one more. Alright, that's a bit weird. Alright, well, that can go in there. I don't know why it didn't want to do the last one. I didn't stop that. Janky. Right, okay. So now we can get the uh, flower. Boom. And we can get the. Process sugar, chicka pow, that's gonna make sugar dough. Sugar dough! Make five of them, if it lets me. If it stops at four, then we know we found a secondary bug. <laughs> They're features, people. They're not bugs. Those could be by design, couldn't they? I mean, let's face it. Right, there we go. We've got our sugar dough. We put that over there. You see, it makes a simple biscuit. But rather than make a simple biscuit, get your nip nip buds, stick them in there, and boom! Lovely jubbly. We can make ourselves five herbal crunchies. Okay, cool, yeah. Now you're probably thinking, Captain Steve, why would you want to make some herbal crunchies? I'll show you why. Here we go, let's take those out of there. One, you can take them to good old Cronus, and um, you can then sell them for nanites. But, better than that, let's go down to a planet, and I'll show you the bonus of having one of these. You know what? I'm just going to use the teleporter and teleport to my base, which is on a planet, I guess. Boom! My base. Your base is lovely. We're going home. We're going there. Let's go. See you at my base, people. Okay. Right. Well, we're back at good old Blighty. I'm back at my old base. Um, I need a second now. It should render in. Coolio. Here we are. Lovely. There's my lovely ship sitting on its landing pad. Thank you very much for the tips, people, there. Well, this is, this is take, taking a little while, so I'll render in that. Well, yeah. Now, let's eat one of those cookies, shall we, people? 
So let's uh, bring up the old menu. Let's eat one of these. You've got the consume button. So I've consumed it. What does it do? Okay. Let's uh, try changing the difficulty mode quickly to normal mode. So we can see our bars. Yeah. Let's try eating another one of those cookies. Yeah, here we are. Let's consume that. I consume two. Life support systems are recharged. Heck yes. So yes, it re recharges your life support systems. Now, I was watching Hero for You's video, and it went all sort of gnarly. There was all patterns in the sky and everything. It looks to be that maybe Hero, Hero for You stuck in his own sort of, I don't know, some sort of weird special effect there. But that would have been freaking cool if that actually blinking worked inside a game. Maybe he put up something in text on the screen, but I wasn't overly watching. Okay. Um, yeah, there's no sort of visual weirdness going on, people. I don't even know whether that would happen even if I was in first person mode. But yeah, maybe that wouldn't be a good idea anyway, because it sort of like promotes the use of, you know, visual enhancements or psychedelics. But there we go, people. Dundley and done. You can now create and eat your own biscuits, which is pretty darn lovely, isn't it? But yeah, you can sell them to good old Kronos as well. You're probably wondering, how much do you get per cookie with Kronos? Yes, that's what I'm wondering as well, people. So you know what? I might just go to my freighter and whip up another batch, and I'll see you over at the Nexus. Okay, chums, while I was making another batch, what I've realised is you get a lot more out of, like, just one or two cactuses than you do pick a nip-nip. Nip-nip, when you pick it, you just get one nip-nip per pick. But when you pick a cactus or you pick some frost crystal, you get hundreds to a stack. So you get freaking loads. So I've reduced the amount of cactus and frost crystal to just the bare minimum. And I've stuck in more and more nip nip so I can make loads of these crunchy biscuits. Heck yes. Now let's go on over to the Nexus and let's see how much we get for five cookies. All right. It's probably not going to be a great deal, to be honest. But we'll go see. Hello, Mondo people. We've arrived located inside of the Nexus, and we're going to go and see good old Cronus. Hello there, Cronus. Right. The life form sniffs at me with... Okay. Great. And he sniffed out everything I don't want to give him. All right. Yeah, nothing. Nothing indeed. Because now I've got to go through and delete all the stuff that I don't want you to freaking sniff out. It'd be better if you could actually choose what to give him, because... Now I've got to find all those things that he did sniff. I mean, look, it'd be nicer if, if, if you wanted him to sniff out something right in your first... There you go. Look, I'm going to put that there. That's what I want him to sniff out. The very first thing in my freaking exosuit. Right, I don't want him to sniff out any of these other things. And it, somehow he found my carbon nanotubes, which were on side my blinking ship. How the hell did you sniff that out? It's miles away. Okay, what else did he sniff out? He actually sniffed out nip nip buds. And funny enough, my nip nip buds, I don't have any spare nip nip buds on me. So he might be sniffing out that broken inventory space on my nutrient processor, which I can't access. Um, hello games, you might want to try and... Okay, let's get rid of those carbon pellets as well, because he sniffed out them too. All right. Now, smell my biscuits. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, for fudge's sake. Look, he's found cactus nectar. There's my herbal crunchies. There we go. Have one of them. Hmm. Herbal crunchies with style and substance. I applaud you. Brilliant. What are you going to give me? It should pop up here. We just got 70 nanites for one crunchy biscuit. All right. Let's give him some more. Yes. There you go. Have one of those. Oh, it's an average one this time, people. And we only bagged out... It was 40. 40 nanites for that one. Okay. Let's do a comparison. Let's just feed him a nip-nip bud. So I haven't even converted it or done anything. Okay. I do not believe anything more unpleasant has ever passed my lips. How did you ruin nip-nip buds so... And I didn't get anything for that. I didn't get nothing for that. Alright. So these biscuits are probably worth making, to be honest. Okay. Okay. We got another 70. Another 70 there. That's that's not too bad. I mean, it's not top of the range. It's not like giving him a cake or something. But we just got, netted ourselves another 70 there by the looks of things, people. 
You've outdone yourself. This one is beyond compare. And what's he just given us? Oh, I didn't see it because something else just popped up. We impressed Krunus. There we are. Done, diddly, and done, people. There we go. That's baking cookies. So, yeah, sadly, there's no visual effects like inside of Hero for You's uh, video. If you haven't seen Hero's video, I'll put it up there. It's actually quite funny. There's quite a lot of references to Breaking Bad and things like that in it. Go check him out. He's an awesome content creator. He's from Egypt. He's got a very cool sort of accent about him. Yeah, um, very cool. Anyway, I'm going to jump in my ship and out of my ship because I've noticed that the weekend mission is up at the moment. If I can do that, I'm going to get myself some Quicksilver. And at the moment, I've got 7,650 Quicksilver. I want to get a few more base parts and things. Yeah, Something else I've got to work on is trying to get my inventory space and my exosuit fully kitted out. I've got to go look for drop pods. Or I could just use a save editor and you know, do that. But yeah, there you are. Um, I'll be... Um, Hopefully I'll be back with you in a bit, people, to do the uh, weekend mission run on my PC save. Yeah. So there we go. Boom. So there we go, people. There's a little guide for you guys inside the Viewerverse on how to make your own crunchy nip-nip biscuits, people. So yeah, enjoy. And if you did like this video, hit a like, hit a subscribe. Whatever you do, don't use your refiner storage because, for whatever reason, the neutral processor storage, because it seems to be completely scuppered. Or at least it is on PC save. And I'm also on the experimental at the moment. So there has been an update, I think, to the internal branch, not to experimental. I don't know whether this affects everybody. If you've got a bugged out neutral process inventory, let us know what platform you're on and whether it is bugged out. Or if it works, let us know as well. Hit us up in the comments so other people can see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.